this guy seems to be the best general in the beginning of Victoria. In today's video, I'm speaking about Helmut von Moltke, the Elder. He's so quiet. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button and drop me a comment below. And Prussia is very Helmut old. If you look at all the stuff, man, I feel like Prussia could be fucking insane multiplayer. If you play multiplayer, role play, what you should try to do is don't let Prussia unite fucking Germany. But you know what I'm seeing here? I think multiplayer role play games could be fucking amazing. Because you're like, okay, I'm Prussia, I want to kill Austria. But then the Austria player is like, help, help me, France, help me, I will suck your dick. Uh, okay, okay. And then Prussia is like, okay, UK, I need you, UK. And you, you make all this role play, man, and you completely fucking start a world war. Al Bernhard von Moltke was born on October 26th, the year 1800, in Paris. <laughs> now northeast germany he was danish uh, danish garibaldi is very strong for italy a son of friedrich philip victor von moltke who served in a danish military helmut von moltke became a cadet in copenhagen in the year 1811 ranked as a second lieutenant oh it's so crazy how nowadays in modern day germany man there is no more militarism right germany has been such a military state especially prussia but after two world wars, especially World War II, man, right, the Allies just destroyed Prussian culture, which they should have. Makes total sense, right? But crazy how in just a hundred years, Germany went from, changed so much, right, culturally. I'm going to say something weird now, which is going to get a lot of Discord messages. I always felt it was very sad that the Nazis and Hitler have destroyed these, these Prussian geniuses. Um, it's obviously that Germany had amazing military personnel, like really, really cool dudes. And unfortunately, they had to waste their talent on the dumbass Nazi bullshit, Hitler bullshit, you know. And that's that always was a little bit like these poor guys didn't deserve that, man. Red Oldenburg. Bit of a weird comment, I guess. Helmut von Moltke, who was very ambitious and talented, expressed his wishes to join the Prussian army. He stated that request directly to the Danish king. But maybe it's better for all of Europe that Prussia doesn't exist anymore. His request was accepted, <laughs> with the thoughts. That von Moltke That's would the gain chin, man. experience that the Denmark would benefit from upon his return. This guy sounds exactly like the speaker in Steel Division One, man. Since 1822, von Moltke served in the Prussian army. He attended war school between the years 1823 and 1826. My entire life, and once again, I'm going to get a lot of messages telling me I always wondered what that. What does it mean to go to war school? What 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 happens? You go you go to class. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, you, did you practice for the Blitzkrieg test? Wait, today's the artillery test. Oh man, I thought we we're doing Ninja Shurikens 101, bro. Carl what the fuck do you do? Was one of his in, in, a, in a war school, bro. By 1833, Helmut von Moltke served in the Greater General Staff. In the year 1835, you take exam on war tactics. That sounds like a fucking video game, bro. <laughs> Von Moltke traveled to Southeast Europe. He accepted the Ottoman invitation to instruct their troops, which he did from 1836. He's showing until the picture every two seconds, man. During this time, Helmut von Moltke participated in multiple campaigns. After the last battle of Nasib, and after the death of Sultan Mahmud II, <clears throat> whom had requested von Moltke's help, he returned back to Prussia. When Helmut von Moltke returned, he was promoted to the rank of Major and became the adjutant of Prince Karl Heinrich from Prussia. Between 1848 and 1855, Dude, how many times are you going to show the picture, mate? Von Moltke served as the chief of the General Staff of Army Corps IV before he became the adjutant of Crown Prince Friedrich. Dude, the Germans and Turks have always been working together, eh? Mashallah. Who would become the second German emperor? A German nickname for him was the 99 Tage Kaiser, the 99 Day Emperor. I know nothing about this man. Since the year 1858, Helmut von Moltke became the chief of the general staff of the Prussian army. In this position, he was tasked with the planning of a war against Denmark. Deemed as a brilliant strategist, he helped planning the wars against Denmark, the Austro-Prussian War, as well as the Franco-Prussian War. Von Moltke even... I don't even know. Prussia and France had a war. I don't know. I, I know nothing about this era, man. Personally nothing, dude. The Battle of Königgrätz, which was a key victory in the Austro-Prussian War. 
after the German victory in the Franco-Prussian War, he was awarded the title of Graf, or Count in English, hmm. and was promoted to the rank of Generalfeldmarschall. Helmut von Molke remained in the position of Chief of Germany the Germany was actually founded Staff in Paris. I had no idea, bro. Helmut von Moltke became a member of the Northern German Deutsch as well as the German ah, Reichstag unification of as Germany. a member of the Conservative Party. I'm learning so much from these video games, man. He was a member of the Prussian House of Lords since 1872. One of Helmut von Moltke's quotes <laughs> Now he mirrored the picture. No <laughs> plan survives the first enemy contact, believing that only the very beginning of a war was uh, Prussia destroyed? Oh, I actually watched this. When was this? 2000? That, okay, I don't remember options this. options and alternatives. He recognized the importance of the railroad as well as the telegraph machine. As always, man, dude. Right? Every time you look at war, if it's fucking ancient war nowadays, you look at even Ukraine and Russia, it's all about logistics. You can have the best trained soldiers, blah, blah, blah. Logistics, logistics, logistics. Roberti Gilman is the top one primark. Strategy. From a simple Everything, man. In Hoi 4, you see it too now. To a frontal flank, flank attack. During the battles, Building he granted ups. his leaders freedom to carry out their orders, which would later be known as mission type tactics. The German military, by the way, is still using this directive. During his lifetime, one of von Moltke's nicknames was the Great Taciturn. The what? Yet, his voice is the only voice recorded of a man who was born in the 18th century. On April 24th, he is the only human being whose voice has been recorded? Wait, no fucking way. He is the f only person in the history of the human race to have been recorded in the 19th century? No fucking way. Only man born in the 17th century who's... Dude, I'm googling a random guy and suddenly he's... Wow, what? Holy shit. Also, am, uh, am 21. October 1889. That's like a Hoi 4 Discord. <laughs> That's like, dude, this is 1889. It's literally the same when you play in a Hoi 4 Discord, bro. Dude, Jesus, the first ever recording of... Wow, that's crazy. I can't understand him. You can't hear him. Oh. Isn't there like... Oh, that gives me a headache. Isn't there like a Russian mic in Counter-Strike? Isn't there like technology where they t turn this shit off, man? Anyway. Von Moltke, man. He just made me win my campaign, guys.